Kimber Ray Bear Box of Banton I'm here with uh, victorious uh, Craig O'Brien. Uh, Craig, you're the only man I've had to come into the ring to interview. <laughs> yeah. You've been a big old following. Um, so look, Craig, look, you must be delighted. The headline act back in the National Stadium and you've got your stoppage. So, uh, yeah, how did you feel there tonight? Uh, good. I was just getting back in the front of the crowd again. It's been 14 months, nearly 14 months that I've been last in the ring. And truth be told, I've been in and out of the ring, in and out of the gym throughout the year, but not fully, you know what I mean? So this show was happening, then it wasn't happening. So I literally had six and a half weeks training. Uh, came into the ring tonight, middleweight. I've done it easy. I was eating yesterday before breakfast. So it was good to then get the butterflies off. The opponent wasn't great, but he was a good opponent. Do you know what I mean? He was game opponent. Came through shots, he was tough. And yeah, I got a good five rounds in, in the end, and the crowd came and loved it. And it was a good, it was brilliant. brilliant. This, this is the first time you've headlined in a while. Uh, any um, nerves at all going into it? Kieran, I, I, I honestly, I'm not, I just don't do nerves, man. I was up this morning at six o'clock with the little fella and I still haven't slept today. I put her off, was like, I go to sleep now, I go to sleep and for an hour. I hadn't, I went back and watched my Irish title fight, I have her on a stick and I watched another fight, I boxed there, the Spanish champion. It was here in 018 or something and I was just chilling out towards before I got here and even when I got the dress room, the lads were like, all right there, Craig, you fighting. I was KO, I was chilling out on the sofa, you know, so no, no nerves whatsoever. Sometimes I tried to... Uh, Get, give myself a kick to get myself up, you know what I mean? I enjoy it, it's great. I had the kids here tonight, so it's all about uh, enjoying the moment. Yeah. I remember your last fight, uh, Packy kind of talked about when you threw in the tell, you was talking about, you know, you've got your degree and uh, other things in life. Has that kind of come into play in your mind in your life that, uh, you know, boxing is never done to you? Like? Yeah, 100%. Especially, like, when I turned over and had that dream for the Irish title, it was all about boxing, 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 you know what I mean? And family probably came second in that sense, but not no more, like, you know what I mean? It's all about balance now. And to be fair, I balance it great. I have a job now and solace they're great to me. If I need time off, they give me time off. I balance my college. I, I, I pick my subjects to do three days per week instead of being scattered over five days a week. So I go in there three, walk two, and then, yeah, if I'm fighting like I have been, I'll, I'll train in the morning, I'll get a session in the evening. So you still get me two sessions a day, you know what I mean? So... But boxing is not everything to me, what it, what it once was, you know what I mean? But if I know I can get a run of it for 12 or 15 months, I put everything into it. Like I said, I was six and a half weeks training camp, and I ate and slept boxing for the last six and a half weeks, you know what I mean? If I know I have that fight, I'll, I'll, put, I'll put my heart and soul into it, you know? So you've an eight-round eight win now. Um, you're back, back on the island, fighting. So now it looks like in the new year you can go straight into you know a defence of your own Irish title or fight for another Irish title, or... Going to going to fight someone abroad or even on the Croker show, um, but the Graham McCormick fight is that still something that's on your mind? Or? No, listen, Graham. I'm not tired of Graham. Graham's not tired of me. I got really well with Graham. He's a sound fella. We've done rounds together sparring. Mm. His manager reached out to me, and just like that, I hadn't been fighting. It was that middleweight. I was like, yeah, okay, man, we'll take it. You know what I mean? There's a title on the line, get you back in the ring. Yeah. But apart from that, there was nothing to it. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And. As far as I know, Graham was up there. I just, I just didn't. His this day just didn't suit him. So, no. Listen, I, I, I'm more or less a middle, a, a light middleweight. You know what I mean? I kind of 72 kg yesterday and had scrambled leg and 500 ml of water before the weigh-in. So I can bounce between two. But yeah, Graham's. I'm not tagging. I'm, I'm not tagging anyone. You know what I mean? I'm just yeah. going with the flow. Listen, I'd probably like to get keep building up. To be fair, for because I usually have a fight, go back in the deep end, have a fight, whatever. I, I'd probably like to build up another two or three fights and then have a, another big fight here or something. I don't know, man. We yeah. can build momentum in the stadium. Yeah. Um, so for you now, after the win, it's kind of just like the waiting game for you now. You're just going to keep keep ticking away and then just wait for a phone call, really. Yeah, and this time I will. I, I, I'll stay in the gym and yeah, wait, wait and see him the next eight days. Enjoy, enjoy a bit, bit of family time with the kids over the next few weeks and Christmas, you know what I mean? And then. Uh, yeah, Kieran, if something comes about, whether it's here or Croker, to be fair, I'd probably rather headline here again than go to Croker, because more than likely they'd be on the card at late 6 or 7 in the evening. Great experience and all, but you see the momentum and the atmosphere here tonight, and just on that, a massive thank you to all my fans that came. It was brilliant, I've done 150 tickets or something, and the place was on wheels, and yeah, it was a great, it was a great night here, a great occasion, and fair play to the promotions, big thanks to my sponsors and everyone who's supported me throughout, uh, throughout this camp. Yeah, and with that said, like, a lot. Of, some people gave the card a little bit of flack in terms of obviously it's a lot of opponents coming abroad, but like it, it actually, you know, it turned out to be a great night and um, because it was Dublin boxing returning and because of the national stadium, it feels like everything's kind of on top of you. So it was actually it was a great night. Like I thought it was. Yeah, I came here when uh, my mate Daniel, my teammate Daniel, was on towards the end, and I looked around. It was a good crowd. Mm. 
and I went to the dressing room and then like it's, it's, it's building again and even when I came out there was a great crowd you know what I mean it must have been like three quarters full or something and those was roaring and shouting and it was, it was cool listen it's the first show in a long time and I seen Barry the promoter mention something the other day that a lot of people haven't been busy on this card and me included it's been 13 months so it, it's hard to trying people straight in the deep end you know what I mean like you need to be getting the ring rust off and getting back out there you know what I mean so yeah, yeah. thankfully I've done that tonight and see what Parson has in mind the promoters have in mind and we go from there well, look, Craig, I enjoyed the rest of your night. I know you're not much of a drinker anymore, but uh, <laughs> but uh, I'm sure you'll enjoy the rest of your night. Like. Yeah, and listen, thanks for everything, Karen. You're a top man. Going around, looking after the boys, the interviews. You've done a great job, so thanks a million, mate. Thanks very much, Craig. Thanks.